I've been playing this game. I'm hoping that uh, maybe we beat it before the move, and if we don't, that's okay. Uh, but I've started to notice that we're definitely getting pretty far. Have I ever seen this during winter time? Actually, this feels new. You have returned, my lord. Is this the blood serum? I shall begin the analysis right away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Locate. Lord Yi, Lord Kaofu, I have completed my analysis on the blood serum. I must say that the results are full of twists, turns, and some unexpected developments. Stop beating around the bush and get to the point. Okay. Yes, my lord. Instead of being an antidote to the Chan Ha, it is instead it instead changes its form. It's basically a catalyst for the continued mutation of the Chan Ha. Is that why they all turned into monsters? All because of the serum injections? The mutant's condition itself is also infectious, so I can't confirm the exact number of those who are infected through that vector. If you require it, I can give an estimate using simulations. No need. Not when we've already confirmed the source. Who would deliberately do such a tedious thing? Think about it. Who's done the most research on the Chan Hua? Who has the technology to do this? The answer is obvious. Oh? Hi, Gong! That uh, doesn't seem like something she would do. Why? Who knows? But I'll be hearing from her soon. Albicus, can you find a way to eliminate these living corpses? They keep regenerating. On that subject, I have good news and bad news. Start with the bad news. Uh. Who would ever want to hear the bad news first? You gotta start with the good news. That kind of negativity will be your ruin. Abacus, what's the good news? What? My choice means nothing. The good news is that we have indeed discovered their weakness. If we know the genetic sequence responsible for their regeneration, we can permanently destroy it. What the fuck, dude? I. What do you mean to start with a with the bad news and or with the good news and end on the bad news? I want to start on the bad news and then the good news. That way, I end on a positive note. This is like whenever I'm like eating my skittles and stuff. I eat all the grape skittles and the the lemon skittles first because those are the worst ones, and then I eat the cherry skittles last, the green apple skittles last because those are the tastiest ones. If we know the genetic sequence responsible for their regeneration, we can permanently destroy it. The bad news is that these mutants are an amalgamation of different genetic sources, making it impossible to trace the original genetic sequence. Oh, I know there are a lot of lemon skittle stands, but uh, be honest with yourself. Anything lemon flavored is dog water compared to the cherry flavor, the strawberry flavor, blue raspberry flavor. Those are the best flavors. Grape Skittles are gross. Anything grape flavored is gross. Does that mean we need to, does that mean we need to find the original cells? Where should we start? Based on my calculations, these cells were obtained from a Salarian, one that ages very slowly. Like the imprisoned Kong Hui? Oh. Ah, uh, could it be ye? You have an age aged ever since the incident. My apologies. But I have already run those tests. Neither Kang Hui's nor Yi's genetics correspond. Oh, are you sure it's not Yi? Try running those tests again. He is the most enigmatic body in all of New Kunlun. When you're having a burger, do you end on the last bite of the burger or the fries? The last bite of the burger. I definitely go through the fries first. Because the burger is a filling thing, you know? So you go through the non-filling thing. That way you end on a, the most filling note. But I usually eat them hand in hand. Like, I want to eat the fries while I eat the burger. Then just try to end on the burger. Unless there's a lot of fries. And then I take those fries home with me. And I air fry them later. Like, 30 minutes later. Whenever I get hungry. Lucky for us. I have something that might come in handy. This is G's hair. Lord G's hair. I analyze it. These might be the cells we've been looking for. Please wait patiently, my lord, as I run the comparison system.
place has that good fries, maybe okay. end on the fries. Well, it's different, you know, because, I mean, you're talking about, like, the, the flavorful, like, the sweetest thing of candy versus, like, again, I would end on the burger only just because it's the most filling, not because it's tastier necessarily, you know? Um... As you had predicted, Lord Yi, G's cells are the regenerating gene in the regenerating gene sequence from the Chanhua mutant form a 99.97% match. Based on this data, I have successfully discovered a way to break into their mutant cores. I have designed a special device, and now, as long as you add it to your talisman system, these monsters will no longer be an obstacle to you. What materials will you need for this device? The way it functions is simple, and the materials are readily available, but the, uh, but the work required to make it is extremely complex. It should only be attempted by an exceptional craftsman familiar with basic mechanical principles. Uh. Who are you saying that in front of me on purpose? Send me your flattery and give me the blueprints already. Okay. Of course, I shall leave this to you, Lord Kalfu. Done! Let's get this on you! Super Mutant Buster, a special device designed by Abacus and modified by Kaofu. Its name demonstrates Kaofu's unique taste. Fully integrated in the Yi Talisman system, this device tri triggers automatically upon Talisman detonation, destroying the mutant scores and granting them eternal rest. Oh, okay, cool. So now I can just kill the regenerating dudes. Cool. You really don't have a knack for names. It might look simple, but parts of it were really tricky to make. Nothing I couldn't handle, though. Much blush. <laughs> it was nothing. I helped, too. More like to help get in the way. Well, I guess he did contribute a tiny bit. See? The two have been getting along pretty well. You're imagining things. We're fundamentally different beings. An ape man will only uh, will only be an ape. One sec. I have uh, hair stuck at the back of my throat. I blame the blueberries from earlier. This is why I talked about this earlier. Because now I st have to stick my entire hand in my throat right in front of you. This is terrible. I hate this. Ugh. This is what having a hairy dog is like, by the way. It's just like, I do this tw 20 times throughout every day. And then sometimes it's my own hair. I didn't get it, but, you know, it's in my mouth now. Woods not get sidetracked. You know how to use it, right? No, I've already set all the parameters. The device will trigger automatically upon contact, releasing a surge of energy that will burst inside the mutant. It should basically work just like your talisman system. Okay, I can finally deal with the living corpses in the in the Empyrean district. I can also help with the living corpses thingy. You'll stay right here while I conduct my business. Also, one second, I just remembered. I may be able to... Oh, okay, we're actually streaming at a pretty high bit rate today. But I'm going to go ahead and boost it up a little bit as well. This is a not bit rate cruncher game, but still. If you get bored, ask Uncle Chubby to play with you. You're really good at making life difficult for others. No way! A rhythmic bomb? So they really do exist? Is it that infamous? You're the weird one for not knowing about it. This was the weapon that forced the G Kingdom to surrender and thereby put an end to the turbulent era. Why have I never heard about this? Probably because you're from the G. Taoists have always been reluctant to believe that Lear created such a weapon. Perhaps no one ever knew Lear for who he really was. So is any of it of you? So is it of any use? I'm gonna need more time to tinker with it. 
if the rumors were even remotely credible, this bomb should be handled with extreme care. One tiny slip-up could level this entire pavilion. You inhaled the mustard? Mm. Nice. The Enlightenment Sanctum. Has it really become a dead city? That was the most important area of them all. We really shouldn't have handed it over to the Fang Clan and their irresponsible heirs. They aren't the only ones responsible for this predicament. The Imperian District can't have fallen that easily. New Kunlun seems to harbor secrets hidden to even you and me. Anything else? Don't look like it. Yeah, honestly, I mean, when it came to, like, getting a dog and everything, I was just kind of like, well, man, I've been dealing with my own hair my entire life. You know, I might as well just get a dog that's also fluffy, you know? I've been, I've been coughing up my own hairballs, all right? So, like, <laughs> you know, like, I, I don't I don't know who had him before me, but you know he probably wasn't used to uh, uh, coughing up hu human hairballs before before uh, before I got him. We each got a taste of our own medicine, you know. Hmm. Are you running the risk of getting assimilated by receiving all these chips from other robots? Enjoy sublime eternity amongst evergreen foothills. New Kunlun, the second home of your dreams. Forget it. You're not cut out for this. <laughs> Anything to say? No Give me no chips. Help you. Whoa. He made a little plush me. Look at that. Check that out. Figured I might have something to do it. Something to say. Why haven't I seen a Solarian that's my age? Doesn't your tribe have any kids eat? They're all in hibernation. Does that mean they're sleeping? I really want to meet them. But the only thing is, will they like me? We're kind of different. Don't worry. You're very likable. Unlike when I was a kid. You get the chance. I'm sure you'll get along with them fine. You get the chance. If you get the chance, rather. How would your hairless cat give you hairball? Oh, you would groom your other cat. Thinking, like, maybe, like, if I lick this haired cat enough, maybe I will grow my own hair. I don't mean to, I don't want to trash talk anybody with a hairless cat. But, 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 but nothing, but nothing. <laughs> Here's the Pengli recipe collection, Sean Sean. <clears throat> I wasn't going to say, I'm sorry. I wasn't going to say anything. Um, I think you'll like this book. Let me see. It's two sky peppers. One caddy of fish rice. Oh, this is a recipe. Not just any old recipe. It's a collection of recipes from the best chefs on Penglai. <laughs> I get it now. This is just a way for you to complain about the food I make. These recipes seem a little over the top. I mean, carve a radish into the shape of a dragon? That's not going to make it taste better. <laughs> Traditional aristocratic cooking emphasizes both flavor and presentation. Is this what you used to eat? Mm. Not really. I came from a Taoist family. And we made do with simple meals. What? You did all that explaining and then, you d uh, and then you tell me you never had any before? That may be true. We still had a lot of choices. What's the best dish you ever had in your life? I might be able to make it. That'd be Phoenix Head fried rice using leftover rice. I forgot how long it's been since I last had it. Oh. You 
should have told me earlier. Egg fried rice is easy. I'll make some for you next time. I think you're better off not trying. I'd prefer to keep those delicious memories intact. Yeah, you'll probably try it, but that's okay. It'll be cute. Um, using leftover rice is interesting. I wonder if that tastes better in real life. It's got to be based on something. I've heard about the crazy parties you people get up to in that Empyrean district. <coughs> oh, God, Shenong, you're going to kill me today. I still got these hairs in the back of my throat. So, is it as extravagant as they say? Huh. <sighs> it's extremely decadent. I can't bring myself to blame them for it. They have long since given up hope, and are now treating their final moments as one big party. Oh. Party into the very last minute? More like numbing your senses to the very last minute. A boop, a boop. Uh, nothing there. Uh, so I know that I now have the ability to, like, break down some walls, basically, that I guess I could have gotten past earlier. Uh, and then there are, are a couple of those, but man, I don't Like, I remember seeing more than one of them. And if I was a gamer, if I was a real gamer, I would remember. But man, I have no freaking clue, dude. I have no clue. Um, Maybe... Maybe I... Maybe... Oh, maybe... Maybe I can ask. Maybe I can ask where it is. If you encounter adversity in battle, you can try using different sets of jade oh, stones, my lord. Uh, uh, you didn't tell me. Alright, well. This is unfortunate. Oh, well. Um. Alright. That just means I'm gonna have to find some spots. Um. I think probably the best place to maybe look is the Empyrean District. Just because that area is full of these uh, gross ass dudes. So I'd imagine that somewhere around here there was a wall. Maybe it's down below? Ah, this looks right. I mean, at least looks like something. Um, but I do think that there is an area down below. So let's head down there. Uh, can't get through there. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh! Oh, God! I gotta remember how to play this game. Oh! Uh. Okay, that was something. Cool, okay, yeah. That's one of the spots. I know that there are more, and it's gonna bug me because I know that there are more. I've seen other spots with that before, but I have no clue. An access card labeled Research Center. For some security reasons, certain levels are only open to those with requisite access token. Forgot I had a double jump as well. Forgetting all kinds of things. What the hell is that? 
Passenger token, Jihai. A token carried by Solarians uh, can be recycled. I am the most extraordinarily unlucky person to ever live. In the womb, my umbilical cord almost choked me. I've been hit by bird droppings, caught in sudden rains, and faced various dangerous situations. It's unbelievable that I got a spot here. Was that all, all, was all that misfortune the price for this one bit of good luck? Huh. And shoot, sometimes you get pooped on. That's life. Like you gotta be to some degree okay with getting pooped on, you know? A little, you gotta be a little bit okay with getting pooped on. You don't have to be super down with it, but you gotta be a little okay with it. You gotta be comfortable with the idea of it happening at some point or another. Like, it's gonna suck. You're not gonna be a fan. You know, you're not gonna be like, oh boy! Shit on my body! But, you know. But don't, you know. But, but you're gonna be fine. Like, you'll make it, you'll make it out alive. Basically, is kind of, I guess, the point. Sometimes you gotta pick up dog poop. Listen, if you ever have a kid, you're gonna get pooped on. Um, and again, regardless of any of that, birds fly through the sky. And those things will just airstrike poop on you. At some point, maybe. You know? Like, I'm, like a lot of people have maybe gone through uh, their entire life without ever touching a piece of poop. But... I'm gonna bet, I'm gonna bet you money that more people who have ever lived did touch poop at some point, at one point or another. I know I'm already there, you know, like, but that's over for me. I've already done it. You know why? Because I'm good at washing my ass in the shower. Ah! Ah! There's a lot of those types of things that like people are like can get like really scared of and stuff and I and I'm starting to just come to the realization that like a lot of it really doesn't bug me anymore. That's a me thing, you know? That doesn't mean that they're not allowed to be bugged by it. But, like, spiders and stuff like that. I lived in a basement for the past year. I've seen many spiders. And I've touched them, too, because I, I try to let them out, you know, as humanely as I can. I've killed a spider before. I can't say that I'm not a spider murderer because I have murder. In fact, I'm sure that I've committed a little bit of spider mass murder, you know? Like, I've killed m uh, many spiders. I'm not proud to say that I've done it, but, you know, it's happened. I think the important thing is making the effort where you can. I try my best to not mass murder spiders when it, when I can spiders are enemy shaped friends exactly they're kind of just hanging out you know you can't dog on them too hard but a lot of people really don't like spiders you know like it's a, it's a lot of people's like main thing you know they're like nope Nope, not sp anything but spiders. Anything but... They'll seek that out in a partner, too. They'll be like, I need somebody who can deal with this. Because it's a part of life and you can't avoid it. But I, I, I will avoid it.
Spiders are enemies that also happen to hunt something that is also my enemy. You could say the same thing about cheetahs. If you really weren't a fan of, like, a gazelle. If you really hated gazelle. For some reason, gazelle just irk you, you know? It's gotta be somebody out there. There's somebody out there that hates ever any animal that that you m might like you know this is crazy what is this what is this parkour section this is i'm that's a lot Oh, come on, man. That was the one. Stowaway's corpse, not from an unknown Solarian. They were just a little short. I promised that all the staff would be able to board. Curse you, council bastards. I hope you'd all die horribly. If I'd known, I wouldn't have left home. Mom, I should have listened to you. An ancient letter next to the body indicates that the person was a stowaway who tried to enter the Empyrean district hundreds of years ago. Cabins in New Cunlan were in short supply, so many tried to enter illegally. As that was happening... Violent protests against the council grew fiercer, forcing the council to use the guards to brutally suppress the people. Damn, dude. Super not chill, dude. Not cool. Council. Fox. Cats are... The, I mean, listen, any, any, like, pet animal you have has a little bit of that predator instinct, I think, in them. It's either that predator instinct or it's that survival instinct so they don't care about you, you know? Like, that's, that's what I think a lot of rodents are. That's kind of what a chinchilla is a little bit. You know, I was looking vaguely into chinchillas and stuff because... Shit, the animal interests me, you know? What, what can I say? I'm a chinchilla fan. I like a chinchilla. And I would love to have a chinchilla at some point in my life, if at all possible. But, I don't expect love from a creature like a chinchilla, you, you know? Like, I don't expect to receive affection in the way that I do from, like, Leo or something like that, or like a dog. On it, or even a cat, you know? Like, a cat will love you. A chinchilla isn't gonna love me, you know? A chinchilla's gonna be like, Oh, the giant is back to take me out of my home. And let me wander about. Hey, where the frick did that... Uh, lead to earlier? I kinda wanna go back. Yeah, I kind of want to go back and just see, like, what might be going on. With the uh, elevator over here. Dude, I want a chinchilla. I would love a chinchilla. Tortoises are like that for me. Yeah, they don't they don't love you, you know, but they they exist. They're there. I'm not I'm not confident that 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 they experience like love and affection in that way. They enjoy getting like pet. Like you can elicit a sensation of oh, I like this from them. I don't want to say that you can pleasure them. Because that sounds like you're doing something terrible. 
Sounds like you're jerking off that turtle. <laughs> Which is a euphemism for for jerking off, I think. Um Parrots are the exact opposite. They will love you too much. Will they? Do parrots experience love like that? Parrots are like, this is my human. Tortoises can bond with you like every other pet. Am I wild now? Maybe I'm crazy, dude. Tortoises can bond with humans. I mean, shit, I've never had one, so I wouldn't know. Can a chinchilla? Can a chinchilla bond? Can chinchillas bond with humans? Chinchillas can show affections for their owner, learn tricks, and amazing dance moves. I'm talking out of my ass, dude. Okay, what other animals? Can parrots bond with humans? Parrots can form strong bonds with humans. Can ducks bond with with humans. I already know that. They'll imprint on you. Yeah, ducks can. Uh, can spiders bond with humans? Spiders may not bond with humans. But some say they can recognize people and earn their trust. Oh, I'm talking out my ass then. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's my bad. Well, this is fantastic news for me whenever I potentially maybe or maybe not become a chinchilla owner. I mean, who's to say that my chinchilla will actually even like me, you know? Like, 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 like they can bond with humans in general, but will they bond with me? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. That's up to my future chinchilla. That's not really my decision, you know? I'll leave, I'll let the chinchilla decide if it wants to love me, you know? there. At this point, I am just kind of exploring areas I haven't seen before, huh? Uh, gain some Azure Sand after pay, uh, picking up experience on death. Ooh. Oh, the slash attack damage for sure. Just do more damage in my hit to hit? Hell yeah. I apologize to all tortoise, tortoise owners, and tortellini as well. To be honest, I just didn't know. Oh wait, I'm going left. Yeah, whatever this direction is, this is the direction I want to be. Parrots have taste buds on the roofs of their beak. All right. Birds are weird. 
It's just a personal preference, but very much like a naked cat, I probably would not ever want a bird for myself. But that's kind of neat, you know? Nice. Kiara Bell. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> what do you mean eventually? No, I'm just joking. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just messing around. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. I wish that I could be... I wish that I could be mean. I wish that I... I wish that I could maintain meanness. I'm sorry! Now I feel terrible, dude. <laughs> I could be mean for you. Thanks, Larnuck. You always have my back. You always got my back, Larnuck. I'll buy you chilies one day. Where am I going? Can I go higher here? I gotta go left. I gotta go left. And then I can go right. Dude. See, I know that I've come across, like, other points of, like, fleshy goopness and stuff. But I don't know where they were. Like, is it right there, maybe? Maybe it's right there. Let's try it. Let's go right over there. Stanley, thank you for the gifted sub to Kiara. You shouldn't lie to Larnuck like that. I, I'm not lying. Larnuck, the moment that I see you face to face, we're going to Chili's. It doesn't matter what we're doing, where we're at. You might need to remind me. I'm going to mention Chili's and then you're going to say... You did say that we would go to Chili's, like, now. And then I'm gonna be like, oh, yeah, I don't care if I'm with people. I'll say, I'm sorry, guys. I do need to go. Me and Larnuck are going to Chili's. Everyone is invited to the Chili's? All right, that's very kind of you. I was not going to offer the same invitation. I was gonna say... Fuck those guys. Whoever those guys are, whoever the people are in the in the area, I was gonna say nope, no chilies for them. Oh, I thought I was going to die there. All on Cheesy's dime, right? No, 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 no. Just for Larnock. No, 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 no. This is why I was saying, fuck them kids. You have to pay for your own chilies. If, some, if anybody else is there, they have to pay for their own chilies.
Unless they're rich, then they could pay for all of us. Even still, it's at this point, Lornook, it is more of like a symbolic gesture, me paying for your chilies, you know? Like, I don't care if there's a billionaire with me. They could pay for my meal. But I'll, I'm gonna pay for I'm gonna pay for Larnox chilies, symbolically. I block you. I block you while I while I while I'm here. I block you. <laughs> oh yeah, you know. Listen, if I'm with a billionaire, if I'm at any point, like, having dinner with a billionaire, I'll ask them for money. Straight up. I'm gonna be like, you have a billion dollars. I may not say it myself, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm not, but I'm gonna think, no person should have a billion dollars. I'm gonna say, can I have money, please? Oh, you're a billionaire? Can I have money, please? Like, what are you gonna do for me? Ask you for money. Give me money. Money me now. Me money me now. Nobody should have a billion dollars. No human being on planet Earth should have a billion dollars. Brother, where am I going, dude? This is the second time I am just straight lost. They give me a couple million, I pay for their chilies. It's a win-win. What if they take their millions back, you know? The moment that the check is paid for, they dine and dash you. Then you're out of $45 of chilies. Because, you know, if they're a billionaire... They're used to eating, eating high class. Honestly, they're a <laughs> the fact that we're talking about a billionaire eating at a Chili's in general is kind of a humorous concept in and of itself. I don't think that a billionaire... I don't think you could pay a billionaire to eat at a Chili's. I think they would be like, mm, I'm gonna get sick. It's got poor people germs. I stole their Roblox, Rolex. Almost said Ro Robux. I was, I, but then I, you know, sacrilege. The sacrilege stopped me. Even if it's a billionaire, okay, don't steal anybody's Robux. Do not steal anybody's. Ro That's as low as you can go, really. It is as low as it gets. Don't steal anybody's Robux. Is Donald Trump a billionaire? He's not a billionaire, isn't he? Isn't he like a multi-millionaire? He's like a hundred millionaire. That guy's not a billionaire, is he? Is Trump a billionaire? Wow, he is a billionaire. I'm an idiot, dude. I didn't know that. 4.6 billion as of August 2024. Yeah, but he's like he's like advertisement mcdonald's you know how you look at the advertisement mcdonald's and you're like this is a different burger this isn't donald trump gets the special mcdonald's burger that's actually filled with glue hmm. this is for you uncle chubby hmm? for me it's a pallet vase i told you how to make one of these I asked Abacus what kind of gift you would like. He said that the people of Ying have a custom of painting stories on vases. Hmm. The glaze could have been applied more evenly, but for an Aitman, it's passable. I could have made an even better one if I had more time to practice. That's way better than what I could have managed. I was never talented in these things. 
Oh, since when did you appear? I didn't see you there. That's because your eyes were glued onto your gift. That I won't deny. You never gave me all that many gifts to begin with. So, what story did you paint on this vase? It's a story about me, Uncle Chubby, and you living together here. Huh. Is that so? I see. See the tears welling up in your eyes? See the tears welling up in your eyes? If you want to cry, you should just let it all out. Shut up! You're just seeing things! What? Did I do a bad job painting you? No, I just... This is the first time I've ever received a gift like this. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Aw, that is sweet. Oh, it was as sweet as sweet gets. That was cute. Dude, where do I go? So I can destroy goopy bits now, but I don't know where the goopy bit I'm looking for is, you know? I know that there's another goopy bit over here, so maybe it's actually... Okay, so maybe it is in the Empyrean District. I'm going back to the Empyrean District. Gonna see if there's uh, another goopy bit I can go towards. Can I have a small loan of one million doll hairs? Trust me, if I had the do doll hairs to spare, I'd spread the wealth. But, you know. That's all ifs and buts, you know? Maybe the true nature of human beings would come out into the open and my greed would take control of me. I definitely would only do... I would hope I would only do charity streams. That's the hope. Trust me, guys. Trust me. If I had a million dollars, trust me, guys. Trust me. I would definitely give you a million dollars, guys. Trust me, guys. Uh, W title? Also, uh, like a fuck me title, dude. It's also like, ah, shit. <laughs> ah, shit. I gotta... I gotta... Uh, drive my dog down, and then I gotta drive my stuff down, and then I gotta drive my me down. All of it. What's actually going on in here? How, how's the, uh, how are the people who are partying? Are they still, uh, dancing and stuff? Okay, they're still partying, even though weird, terrible shit has happened. I've freed you of your stupidness. Cool. I'm just glad to get the get the dang thing off you. Did that happen to the last person that I killed? I feel like it did. Where it spawned one of those pink things instead of giving me the skill points. Yes, my, uh, well, I mean, technically, I'll be transporting my Wii, my 3DS, my Switch. I will be moving my Miis down. All of those things are true. Fuck. 
Is this already open? I could have sworn that there was a uh, thing blocking off over here. Uh, I think I already destroyed it. I'm wilding out, dude. Ah! Well, that's just unfair. Hey, what is that, though? Oh, it was like, uh, the king of all of the gooey fucks. I don't know. New Kunlan's a great environment to be in, but I'm finding my bed to be a little uncomfortable. Good thing I brought my own small pillow. No one will be able to wake me once I enter hibernation. But if we do find the cure to Sean Huo, how will I know if it's a dream or reality? I don't know. Ow! Why are you asking me questions? I don't know nothing about no things. I'm not a cop. Uh, is this area just clear? What the? Where am I supposed to go right now, dude? I failed my eye exam today. What are you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that a? I, I don't mean to laugh. I just didn't know that that was a test that you could fail. To be honest with you, how do you? If that's real, I'm sorry. That's terrible news. I'm sorry to hear about your failed eye exam. I knew that they gave, they would give you the exam. I, I legitimately, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't know that you could fail. I thought that it was mainly just a test to see where you were at, you know? Like, you didn't get, like, oh, your optometrist is like, F! Ah! Man, I don't know. I don't know, but I've fully explored the Empyrean District, so it can't be here. <laughs> you can fail an eye exam at the DMV. I mean, that's a place, you know. Like that's a that that is a that is a real thing. But an optometrist one, I I don't know, you know. You had to be prescribed eye drops. I mean, again, I don't think that's a failure. I don't know if I if I. I don't know if you could fail. You know what? It's fine. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. I failed. Honestly, as like a base statement, that's kind of like that's kind of like one of the funniest like uh one like like uh you know those you know those uh those jokes that are just like it's like one statement or whatever like that. I think Norm MacDonald had a joke like that. He was like, it's my perfect joke because it's just one statement. Norm MacDonald on the perfect joke. Good at stand up, you've gotten to the point. You look for jokes. Yeah. That have the same setup as the punchline. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Can I you do, explain yes. that? I remember one time, that, for instance, I was on a weekend update and there was this guy died, Jerry Rubin, and he, he was a yippie. Yes. Not a hippie, but a yippie. I remember my dad going, Who is that, a goddamn hippie or a yippie? You know? And uh, so he, so, anyways, the joke on uh, a weekend update was that uh, Yippie, Jerry Rubin died last week. 
Oh, I'm sorry, that should read, uh, Yippee Jerry Rubin died last week. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm sorry. Okay, not the same thing, but, you know, it's fucking... <laughs> It's kind of, I, I love one statement jokes, or they're kind of the funniest thing in the world. The perfect joke. Yippee! Jerry Rubin died last week. Oh, I, uh. Can you have a soda? What kind of soda do you want? What kind of what kind of soda do you want? You want Dr. Pepper? It's all I got. You can have a Dr. Pepper. I'll give you a Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper? Well, good. Good. That's that's good that you asked for that. Um yes, you can have a Dr. Pepper loot. Thank you for asking kindly. Nicely. You can have a soda. My urologist said no, but you said yes. Well, who are you going to trust, you know? Got to place your faith somewhere, right? Uh... Well, not the direction I was wanting to go, but okay. Something up here, maybe? Ow. It just feels like it leads. What was that? Oh, yeah, it's just like a block that leads over there. That's like something you would access from that side, I think. I trust you, the urologist only wants me for my money. <laughs> I'm not. It's too... <laughs> it's terrible. I'm sorry, Loot. You've been here so long. I don't just want you... <laughs> I should have more to say. I'm... Thank you. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. I'm... Messing around! I didn't say anything! Shut up! <laughs> hey! That's the thing I'm looking for! I don't mean that. You know I don't mean that. You're one of the only fellow Oklahomans. I need to know how my home state is doing. Cheesy shows his true colors at long last. Um, canceled. Uh, not real. Fake streamer. He's just in it for the money. Sell out. Sell out. You sold out. Dude, I should be playing way more mobile games if I'm a sellout, man. This is tough.
I am a RimWorld seller. Listen, I sell out. I'll I'll whore out for for certain things, you know. For pieces of medium, I for medium. Uh, pieces of medium. For games, movies, television shows, anything I love. Yeah, I'll whore out. Is Nine Souls gonna be on YouTube? Actually, during the moving process, it might. It might get thrown up on YouTube. I wasn't planning on putting it up on the on the channel, but there's a lot. I actually do have a lot planned, but I think that having the extra time wouldn't hurt. Lindsay, thank you so much for your 40th month at tier two as well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Loot, what did you, what the fuck loot? God damn it. I'm, that's Larnuck's chilies monies right there. That's like literally the money that I'm gonna give to Larnuck for his chilies. Thank you, loot. Thank you, Lindsay. Thanks, guys. Don't worry. I'll be the best urologist you've ever had. I have that award-winning smile. Catch me on the catch me on the uh the the like bus. You're waiting for the like the the bus seat, the bus bench or whatever. Buy my urology products today. Can I hire you to be my therapist? Sure. I'm just like every other therapist. Broken inside. And throwing stones from a glass house. You should do this. I'm not gonna follow that advice for my own life. Ow. Doesn't mean that talking to someone doesn't help. Or can't help. Who does follow their own advice? Exactly. I said that. <laughs> I wasn't Socrates. You know, if we knew Socrates in real life... We'd be like, who the fuck does this guy think he is? But because he died thousands of years ago, he's a genius. He figured it all out. It's like I was reading a um, big philosophy book. Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. I was reading Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, and it gives the prelude at the very beginning. The guy who, like, translated the book gave a prelude. And he's like, Marcus Aurelius died face down in the dirt, depressed after the death of his son, or something like that. And I'm like, reading this shit, and I'm like, he died sad? How am I supposed to follow life advice from this guy? How did Marcus Aurelius die? He died of illness. Due to the sudden nature of his illness, it has been theorized that he could have been poisoned. He could have been. I don't know. Why would I follow that guy's advice? He died. He died. Doesn't mean that self-help books can't actually help you. I read a thing the other day that was like, you should sleep. And I was like, whoa. 
That's that's some life changing shit, dude. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. It's funny too, you'd uh you'd read the book and uh about you'd you'd read a little bit about Marcus Aurelius' life or whatever like that. Like he wasn't like the guy who actually like ran Rome. Like he was the Roman Emperor, but he was like co Roman Emperor. He just got to fuck around while his brother did all the work and they fucking hated his brother. They hated Marcus Aurelius. I don't even know his name, dude. I don't know Marcus Aurelius' brother's name. Something Aurelius. I fucking hated that guy. Huh. Don't like that. Oh, what the frick, dude? Dust Guardian recording device six. I am taking my senior officer to Ascension Palace. He already finished his Dust Guardian service and was eligible to be discharged for hibernation. However, what appeared before us wasn't a hibernation machine. It was a killing machine. Saw all the others who had been discharged there. Some turned into monsters. Those didn't, uh, that didn't were just being kept as experimental subjects. Was there no hope to begin with? We used all our strength to escape here. But now my senior officer is injured. All the medical equipment here is broken. How did it come to this? Hey, Leo. You're sitting on my headphone wire, brother. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. Sit down in your bed. Good boy. Good boy. I gotta pet my dog, one sec. I gotta love my pop. Fuck you, dude. I'll get back to the video game when I want to, do you know? I have a dog. Don't rush me. Dab me up. Dab me up. Come on, dab me up. Yeah. That's my boy. You get a good boy. Oh. Oh. Pound it. Found it? Dab me up? Dab me up? Dab me up?
You're a good boy, you know that? You're such a sweetheart. I won the dog lottery. That's what my, um... That's what my stepmom has always, always said. Uh, I got, I get those, I get those phrases like osmosis did into me, you know? I won the dog lottery. Is this dude in the room with us, Cheems? All right, well, who's playing therapist now? I'm taking my senior officer to Ascension Palace. He already finished his Dust Guardian service and was able to discharge. However, what appeared before us wasn't a hybrid mendation machine. It was a killing machine. So all the others who had been discharged there, some turned into monsters, and those that didn't were just being kept as experimental subjects. So no hope to begin with. We used all our strength to escape here, but now my senior officer is injured. Now the medical equipment here is broken. How did it come to this? I don't know why that guy who died sounded like a cool anime, dude. How did it come to this? <sighs> Ooh! pretty. Today is my 25th day on New Cunlan. Are you all doing well, my masters? With all the rumors and conspiracies flying around, I believe it's my responsibility as a streamer and one of the chosen to let the world see the truth. I hope everything will be get better once we wake up from hibernation. I will continue to keep you all my thoughts and dreams. Hmm. My responsibility as a streamer, dude. I do feel a semblance of a responsibility as a streamer. I feel a semblance of a responsibility as a streamer not to DM any viewers. I don't do that. And frankly, I have nothing but disrespect for anybody, any streamer who fucking gets really weird with their community. I... Because one, it's fucked up for a number of reasons. But, but at the end of the day, those people I see and I'm like, I, I don't respect you f as like a person doing this, you know, like this job and stuff like that. Like, Dr. Disrespect and stuff, I don't fucking, I, uh, aptly named, I don't fucking disrespect, I disrespect that guy. I have no fucking respect for anybody who treats their fan base in a weird way like that. Because in my mind, it's like, wow, you don't even, like, value how fortunate of a position that, that you are in because of these people who... I've decided to fucking watch you and say it just sucks, man. Anyway, that's my vaguely dramatic rant. Eh, you don't need to. <laughs> you really don't. Mm, I'm not gonna unload all that shit here. But my take is real. It applies to Minecrafters as well. <laughs> I just, I don't respect, I have no fucking respect for anybody who, uh, who does any of that shit. I just don't. Not, not, a, not the basic respect I think afforded to a person just being a person, you know? Not even that. Fuck. 
I do need heals. I'm dead as shit, man. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good loot. I did go way back. I didn't have a I didn't have a save point, man. Jeezy's always in my DMs with messages like, congratulations, viewer, you have won free PS5. Dude, you, I mean, you mess around and shit like that, but people have messaged me being like, hey, I'm getting Discord DMs from you, by the way. And what's painful about it sometimes is that I think that I, in cases I have seen that, I think that, that they were... In cases where, like, because people have been convinced by it, you know? Um, you know, it's a tough freaking thing because, uh, because a lot of people aren't versed on internet etiquette and stuff like that. Um, and maybe, you know, like, autism can also play a factor. Um,. And, uh, and it can lead to some real, like, troubling, like, I don't know, people thinking that there's some kind of a relationship there that just isn't. And it's just like, man, I've never talked to you. I haven't once. So you can't, you can't get that shit twisted, you know? You gotta... I wish I had better advice other than just like, uh, whenever, it, whenever it comes to that stuff, you gotta kind of play it cool, you know? And, and be a little bit skeptical. It's unfortunate, you know? Because there's a lot of uh, down, downsides that come with uh, having these experiences coming to become jaded about certain things um but man it's like you know no a streamer isn't gonna message you out of the blue and be like hey we can stream together all i need is your mom's credit card information Shitload of help. Shit going up left. I'll just leave you here. I don't need to fight that guy. Fuck it. What the he- Wait. <gasps> is that- Is that his brother? Oh shoot, he got his brother and he put him in the- He's bringing his brother back. Oh shoot, okay, cool. That's awesome news. Uh, Xiangyu. Before I knew it, I found myself far from home. The cramped cabin intensified my longing for the familiar street corners and the lively noodle shop nearby. Each step of this journey deepens my nostalgia for those simpler days. Right or wrong, it no longer holds significance. This cabin will be where I rest forever. 
I think the chain ball was a, do you have that mastered check? Oh, and I didn't even try. And I definitely don't have this mastered, so. Uh-oh. A little scary. You make a good point. But also a point I'm scared to admit that you're probably right on. Stressy Expressy up in here, man. Sir? <laughs> Can you hear me? There's something I felt was off when I woke up, but we never had a chance to talk about it. What is it? Uh. Do you know about the Dust Guardians? I don't know much, but I've seen them mentioned in some documents. The Dust Guardians are staff responsible for maintaining all operations at New Cunlud. Over the past 500 years, while the Silurian passengers slept, they worked to ensure that everything kept functioning. I thought New Cunlud systems were fully automated. Well, relying solely on automated systems comes with risks. What's more, since you were in charge of developing the autonomous system, I Gong was worried you might have tampered with it. After you were out of the picture, she greatly limited the scope and clerics for all high intelligence systems, including Abacus. She then personally recruited the Dust Guardians, which report directly to her. Never had the spare time to play petty games like this. These Dust Guardians stayed alive for- how have these Dust Guardians stayed alive for so long? Have they been genetically modified like Chiyu? No, they're Salarians. It goes without saying that they were also infected by the Chanho virus. Igong's strategy seemed to be to use them in shifts, which prolong their lives. The weird thing is, when I woke up, I couldn't contact a single Dust Guardian. It's like the entire organization evaporated into thin air. That's the first time something like it has happened in over 500 years. That explains why everything's falling apart. Could the mutants have something to do with why the Dust Guardians vanished? I don't know, but they were effectively Igong's personal guard, so I wouldn't be surprised if they were conducting shady activities. Their headquarters is inside the research institute. You might re dig up something there. The research in institute. This is the research center. That's the canal. I need to find the institute. Maybe I haven't discovered it yet, but it's probably around here somewhere. I haven't even uh, downloaded Twitch Mobile yet on my new phone, so I don't know. I don't know what the what the hubbub is about it, but I was hearing that it wasn't great. I also saw that uh, some people were like, eh, it doesn't seem that bad. I think Fuya said that. I think Fuya was like, eh, it seems fine. But, I don't know. I don't have it myself. I 
haven't tried it out yet. You don't like it? Team, I don't like it. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. What does this lead down to? Oh. A bitch. can't exit the app or for any reason or it will freeze. Oh, uh, okay. That was fun to watch. I'm glad because it sucked to experience. Out. Out. My God, dude. Fuck. The shitty thing is that I know if I get that guy with the bulb on his bag, I kill all three of them. So I, I don't regret my decisions, even though I died, which makes me should probably, I should probably regret uh, some of my decision making. It led to my untimely demise. I should regret some decisions that lead to death. <laughs> the Evangelion elevator, it goes diagonal. Which makes it weird. takes you to Apple? Uh, maybe it takes you to like whoever you're following who's alive, who's at like alphabetically at the top. New Twitch meta. Put a zero at the front of your name. 
So that way I'll, you'll get all the mobile views. My lord, you're not far from the last soul. Hi, Gong. She really is the final hurdle in the way of you obtaining all the soul seals. This last encounter is filled with unknown variables, so make sure you're fully prepared. Oh, I also suggest tidying up any unfinished business to minimize any risk later down the road. Oh shit. Maybe I should teleport back to the pavilion. Uh... Damn. Well... Should I go for it? I know that there's gonna be like... Extra stuff. But honestly... Maybe I will go for it. I mean, I definitely want to go through Sean Sean's stuff. What's going on here? Oh good, you're back just in time, ye! The food's still hot! Where did all this food come from? Remember those recipes you gave me last time? Well, Uncle Chubby mentioned that he missed the food from Pangli, so I tried making some. I'm gonna call him over. Don't just stand there, sit down and eat with us. Now isn't the time to relax. I need to hurry in. Having a meal won't take up that much time. Definite end of the game warning. Oh man. I love this game. This tastes pretty good. Not bad for an apeman. What do you think, ye? It's funny. Never have thought that with everything going on, I'd be able to sit down and have a proper meal. Knowing that death is always around the corner the moment I leave this pavilion. Yeah, if you think about it, it's all pretty absurd. Hi. If you like, I can do a lot more cooking for you in the future. The future. Yee, I've been thinking, can we go on a trip somewhere one day? Where do you want to go? I don't know, but I think it'd be fun to travel and hang out with everyone. Abacus can make the plans, Uncle Chubby can deal with the equipment, and I can be the chef. What's my job? You will be in charge of chatting with me. <laughs> I guess the possibilities are just endless with us four together. I don't mean to interrupt, but how should I approach this dish in the middle here? Oh, I actually never finished that dish. Hmm? It's not finished? I couldn't find one of the required ingredients. It needs a sated heart. Do you know where I can find one of those, Uncle Chubby? A sated heart. It would probably be better if you don't finish making it. But they call this dish the peachy primate paradise. That sounds fun. No. Listen to your Uncle Chubby. Do not ever make this dish. Why? Do you guys not like it? Uh. <sighs> yeah. It's become impossible to think of eating it now. Sated heart. I mean, that felt like a very final kind of, uh, I don't know, interaction there. A little bit. Have a good night, Loxodon. I don't know if I have any more poisons to really get either, but man. Um... I know I haven't finished a couple of things, like there are areas unexplored and everything, but like, at this point, is it just kind of tedious? It might just be. I don't really know what's going on with Map Guy up here at the front yet either. I feel like there's something else with him that maybe I missed. Oh wait, I can give Sean Sean something. Oh, more fertilizer. Oh, hell yeah. All right, I'm glad I didn't just go on then. You got more fertilizer? That means the tree can grow even taller. Easy with the fertilizer. Excess breeds its own downfall. People aren't better off the more food they eat. Aww. But isn't more always better? Not always. What's wrong? Aww. Then should we stop using fertilizer? Do you still want to find out how tall this tree can grow? I do. Well, 
Now I'm just as curious as you are. Continue with what you've been doing. I'll deal with it if something goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> sure! I am curious, actually. Yeah, so eh, sure, bud. Uh, I should sell those tickets I've been getting. Oh, they're only like 600 a piece. It's kind of not great. Makes me question breaking them down anyway. In the first place. Alright, well we'll try it without breaking any of them down. I mean, I don't think that they're going to be useful for anything, really, the little tickets, but I don't know. Why does the collect-a-thon in me not want to get rid of it? I hear a cricket in my office. Are you going to hunt down the cricket, buddy? You got up off your bed. You hunt down your cricket? Oh, Shenong. No way! Just a few days? As ah, oh, well, they speak fast, and I didn't have his voice locked in. Aren't you gonna climb up to have a look? <laughs> you might not know this, but Anong is afraid of heights. <laughs> huh? I just get a little dizzy in tall places, is all. I guess when he, I guess he was just bragging when he said he'd get those magic peaches. I'd be able to get them if I could grow a pair of them G GM wings like you monsters. That might not be a good thing. Huh? What do you say that? Ever since you said excess breeds its own downfall, I've been thinking about it. Does that mean we're being too greedy? We want to have the best for ourselves and for others. Like how I want this tree to grow taller because I think that's what's good for it. But is it though? Greed is in our nature. But a lot of times, more doesn't really mean better. It also happens when I'm writing stories. I always want to put the most exciting things together, but that always makes the story less interesting. <laughs> yeah, right! As if any reader wants to read the second most exciting story ever. I thought you looked up to the lives of ye and those monsters. I want to be as strong. As smart, as brave as ye, but... You shouldn't try to be me. And don't get the wrong idea. I'm neither strong nor brave. In fact, the Solarians probably ended up the way they did because of their constant need to do more and more. That's why I'm not using any more fertilizer. I'll let the tree keep, keep, keep growing by itself. But if it doesn't, that's fine too. Wonder why my parents didn't use fertilizer for our crops when I was little. They really put that much thought into it. My sister was much more skilled when it came to horticulture. Why didn't you learn anything from her? Why indeed. It's something I've come to regret. But perhaps I can learn from you. <laughs> well, if you have any questions, ask away. Huh. 
Help Sean Sean unlock the troop at Weekend's over, go back to work, bitch. Ha ha. <laughs> Thank you, no jeans, for the one through five biddies. Hey, was that a new one? I can't tell. Have we seen that one before? Good bits, good bits. I feel like we've seen that one before. Appreciate you, no jeans. I haven't seen it until now. I'll play it again. <laughs> Shit, I think I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go to the last node and we're gonna go towards the end of the game. We have about one hour until we were planning on maybe playing some multiplayer games, so. Um, yeah. I'll let the boys know there's the potential I might be late. That's not good. Are those the Solarians? Ones I've been collecting the key cards of. go this way just because it seemed like there was a loop back around. I cannot go this way. Originera, year 450, winter one out of 20. I have never seen a catastrophe like this. Chan Hua was spread all throughout Penglai. No Solarian will be spared, including myself. However, during this chaotic time, the Chan Dao Council was able to maneuver itself to the top. This has helped us secure an unprecedented amount of support and resources. Our new Kunlun Research Center will bring will bring back all the Fang Shi technologies. I must live up to everyone's hopes and find that cure. That is our current mission. The world will know that science is our only hope. Origin Era, Year 452, Spring 4-8. While I was speaking in the Jia Kingdom, a severely injured young boy was put in front of me. He had suffered serious injuries from an explosion. I did not expect him to survive to the next day. Miraculously, it seemed like the primordial roots would ha was helping him regenerate the damaged organs and tissue. Using my resmatic stabilizer, 
the young man not only made a full recovery, his body also exhibited an unprecedented symbiosis between solarian cells and genetic material from the primordial roots. This data may lead to us even more may lead us to even more breakthroughs. Have I been blessed by the heavens? You can dodge with this. I didn't even know. Ah, 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 come on. I'm dog water. I figured she was talking about ye. It sounded like she was talking about Le Man Caractal. Cuz. I do be coming back to life over and over as I die. Those cats. Log 301. Origin error. Year 457. Summer 8-1. Uh, I have been going through solution after solution, only to find that I'm dead wrong every single time. When we isolated the Chanhua gene from the embryo, the result did not resemble a Solarian in either appearance or intelligence, to say nothing of its incredibly short lifespan. In fact, we might not be able to recreate a cure in time. It was in this fraught situation that Yi came up with the Eternal Cauldron Project. It's risky, but it might be our last big gamble. Therefore, I have decided to move all of our available resources towards the Eternal Cauldron Project. Research on the cure is by no means terminated, just postponed. Wait, are we... Because we're cats. We're cats. Are we... Solarians? Made from cats? Turned into... Solarians? We were cats? Oh shit. This is getting kinda crazy. Origin era. Year 648. Winter 12, 23. Fantastic! We found a new ray of hope on the eve of the launch. Our research was totally misguided, but we, ne we need not rely on the primordial roots to a a eternal life for Solarians. With data from G's cells, we'll not only develop a serum for Chan Hao, we'll also be able to achieve true immortality. I believe we can overcome any and all challenges we face. A Solarian that can live for thousands of years without any genetic modification the source of Ji's vitality differs vastly from Kang Hui or Yi. Mm. But this information needs to be concealed, especially from Yi. We cannot afford any more missteps at this juncture. So they were made out of Yi's... Ji's was made out of Yi's cells? That's what I'm kind of gathering? Foundation era, year two, autumn 1023. Despite not meeting expectations, we already have a prototype for the cure. The next step will be to test the cure on our test subjects. After several rounds of observation, adjustment, and additional testing, we should be able to, per to perfect the serum. Solarian clinical tests take a massive amount of time to conclude. Luckily, the Eternal Cauldron Project has brought us that precious time. In the end, the credit still goes to Yi. <sighs> Where did it all go wrong? 
As your mentor, I thought you'd understand. They cloned me! Uh-huh. Foundation era, year 37, winter 215. It's still unclear if one can be completely cured of Chan Hua, but there are no doubts regarding the effectiveness of the serum. Based on our reports, Chan Hua growth seems to have been suppressed in dust guardians who have received the serum. However, it is worth noting that a very small percentage of test subjects experience secondary mutations. These mutations have led to the affected Solarians to take on a new form. What follows is a loss of sanity and an increase in violent behavior. This is a completely new development that will require further observation. Mm. Foundation Era, Year 125, Spring 5-27. Waking up from the soulscape over and over again has taken a toll on my body. Solarians exhibiting the secondary mutations now referred to as mutants have demonstrated some incredible abilities. With the root's genes already present in Chan Huao, some mutants have been able to infect and devour a part of the primordial roots. Through that connection, these mutants are functionally immortal. Data corrupted. Yeah, but they're gross. And their quality of life sucks. Foundation era. 2.59, summer, 8-12. Damn soulscape, my head feels like it's going to explode. Returning to our report, the mutants seem to exhibit some collective consciousness. They share information and act as a group to the point of being energy efficient and coordinated to an extreme degree. This phenomenon goes beyond our traditional understanding of life forms. We may be on the cusp of discovering a whole new type of organism. Data corrupted. They're doing some Akira shit. I don't like it. Foundation era, year 351. We have concluded our clinical tests after no quant qualitative changes were observed. 90% of those who received the serum failed to recover from Chuan Huao. The remaining 10% turned into mutants. How are we supposed to find the solution? I don't know, dude, but I don't like it, dude. Situation's whack. Doing whack shit. Uh-oh. I'm on fire! Everything hurts and burns! Excessive burning! Is there not a place I can open that up? Oh well. Oh well, I suppose. Nothing. 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 Oh. You're here. So this is what you were hiding, where you were hiding. You weren't easy to find. See. I really didn't expect to see you again, Yi. I'm sure you didn't enter my soulscape just to say hello. No, I'm here to patch up my regrets. Have you forgotten already? We were separated in such a hurry. I didn't have time to say, to properly say goodbye to my old mentor. <laughs> <laughs> what a sentimental disciple you are. 
It has been 509 years since we last parted, hasn't it? Back then, if I was able to convince you, things might not have developed this way. Spare me the empty speculation. If we could go back in time, I would have simply, I would simply behead you with my sword. I've watched you murder the souls one after the other. I don't even recognize you anymore behind your bloodlust. You are my favorite student, so curious about the world, and eager to learn science. Don't you remember? You came up with the Eternal Cauldron and brought hope to all Solarians. That hope should not have been based on lies! People have a right to do the truth. That's what you taught me. You were the one who betrayed everything you believed in. Wrong. As a scientist, I knew from the very beginning that it was important to solve the problems in a practical manner. Truth and lies mean nothing compared to a Solarian's life. Mm -hmm. Forgive me for asking, but do you think Chuan Hua would just disappear once you have taken all the soul seals? Or do you plan on waking everyone up just to die together back on Peng Lai? I believe that there are things more important than mere survival. Oh. Like what? What could be more important than staying alive? Without life, we all return to nothingness. I have indeed made mistakes in the past. That's why I spent the last few centuries trying to make amends. Right now, I am the only one who can make things right. No matter how much you hate me, this is an indisputable fact. You're not in a position to say any of that. Did that strike a nerve? That's only because deep down you know I'm right. Mm. Ye. Are you doing this on behalf of all Solarians, or is this a personal vendetta? Don't talk like you know me! Deny it all you like, but the mentor has always had a handle over the student. I don't think there's any meaning in continuing this idle chatter. <laughs> I agree. Draw your sword. I won't lose to you this time. I admire your confidence. But don't forget, this is my soulscape. Do you recall the first key point from the Fang Shi Art of War? All warfare is based on deception. Correct. You've always been an excellent pupil. Um... Did they just take- did she just take all my powers? I seize control of your nerve centers the moment you enter this realm. You- uh, Even I didn't think you'd pull such a dirty trick! In fact, I was just thinking about how I would, would obtain the permissions to usher in the new era. The heavens must have sent you to assist me. And for that, you have my gratitude. You- Plan this from the start! So then, those mutants! No worry! There were many accidents along the way, but I finally understand the purpose of it all. Everything, including your betrayal, ended up working in my favor. Sleep peacefully, my child, for this nightmare is about to end. Uh, what the fuck? She took my shit. Give my stuff back. What? Oh, uh, my stuck. Um, I hear Mickey Mouse's voice. Sora. Donald. Ping. Goofy. Ping. Ye. Oh, it's my sister. King? Hang, is that you? 
I've been thinking about a lot lately. What do you mean? Why are you here? I'm sorry, but I can't leave with you. Uh, am I getting... What did you say? I'm... I'm not going with you. I want to stay. Uh, what happened? What's making you say such a stupid thing? I'm serious. You will die if you stay here! Don't you know that?! I know. But I can't imagine my life ending anywhere other than in Pengli. A new Kunlun. We'll find a way to end this virus. You won't have to fear Chan Huao. But ultimately, we're all mortal. And I hope to complete my journey within the Great Tao. What? There you go again with that gibberish! Do you not want to live anymore? Of course I want to live! How could I not want to spend the rest of my days with you? But ye, I don't want to run away. Life and death are part of an inseparable whole. We must live well, and we must be and be willing to accept death's embrace when it inevitably comes. Back then, the primordial roots extended your life. The one that saved me was my mentor. Why do you think I worked so hard to study science for all these years? I thought you of all people would understand. Why would you betray me like this? I've always saved the best of everything for you. No, you just assumed what I wanted. You never bothered to ask me. You keep saying it's all for me, but really it's all been about what you want. So everything I've done up to now is just my own wishful thinking? I get it now. Is that what's been going on through your head? I should have known. I'm sorry. I... I didn't mean it that way. It's okay. I think you made your point loud and clear. Let me do the same. I will come back to visit one last time before takeoff. If... After giving it some thought, you still decide not to come. Then you're gone to me, and I never had a little sister. What? How could you say something like that? You're all I have left! I'd rather forget about you than approve of you rotting with the rest of the lunatics on Pengli. Why? Doesn't matter. You're not at fault. And I'm not at fault. Fuck, oh, man. Yes. None of us were at fault. We just made different choices. But you never came back. Why? I... Why did you leave me behind? I... I didn't... When the curtains fall, none of us are really at fault. We are souls, outshining all species, never to be extinguished, leeching off bygone glory to fuel our brilliance. We are survivors. Our feverish flames have failed to forge hope in flickering, bl blistering pain and each searing, with each searing embrace. We are martyrs. Working in vain, painting our colors across the sky over and over again, probing and feeling. Night descends and our light is already faded. Right and wrong fade away in the twilight. The sky is getting dark. No one's at fault, for we are only souls.
I knew you were here, ye! Sean, Sean, get me the fuck out of here! Aren't you excited for dinner tonight? Yay! You're finally awake! Is that you, Sean, Sean? Can you hear me, ye? Where have you been? We were attacked! The Four Seasons Pavilion. How? Are you in danger? Those metallic monsters suddenly came in and... Ha! Ah! Oh wait, I think they're back! Find a place to hide! Quickly! Sean Sean! Sean Sean! Are you there? Answer me! I gotta go! I gotta go! Oh, that's a lot of logs, though! I gotta read all of those! Foundation era. Forget it. It doesn't matter anymore. I have looked over all my past research data. Perhaps there is something we didn't account for. Why were we even researching immortality in the first place? Data corrupted. Ah! Uh, I gotta read! No, no, no! There has to be an explanation, and I will find the answer. Scientific questions always yield answers. I must have missed something crucial. Their solarians and their soulscapes just waiting for me to save them. All my sacrifices will eventually pay off. I don't think they're gonna pay off. Um, next log? That's right, I've been a fool. The mu mutations are the key to think that I wasted all this time. The existence of the mutants gives us a whole new paradigm to view life in our universe. Data corrupted. Data corrupted. Oh, that one went simply. I finally understand. Chan Hua was never supposed to be a disaster. It's a trial and gift from the universe to all Solarians. The mutations will allow Solarians to unlock the next stage in our evolution. This is my destiny, to lead all Solarians toward their immortal futures. How incredibly profound. You're crazy. You've lost it. Okay, I didn't know if there'd be new logs or not. Oh, I hear something grumbling in here. I don't like this shit. I don't like this one bit. Hello, boys. Oh shit, it's old boy. They're doing old boy. Oh my god, they're doing an old boy! Oh, I'm dead as shit. Damn. Are you gonna take me back to the beginning of the old boy bit? Or am I back at the start start? I'm back at the start start. Damn. That's annoying. Oh well. What are you gonna do, bruv? What are you gonna do, bruv? Well, you can do me things. We're doing an old boy! Wait, 
Wait. Why do I not see my health? This is scary. Why don't I see my health? Didn't I? I died. I died. Why won't they show me my health bar for this? This is so stressful without a health bar. I gotta get out of here. Maybe it's to indicate he is in a hurry. That's why he's not even worried about how he feels. All right, let's do this shit. Come on, boys. Enough of your stinky bullshit. All right, motherfuckers. I just walked into him too. Oh, piss. Oh, damn it, 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 damn it. I thought I got you back there.
Oh! Alright, it just works, Todd Howard. All right. I'm not risking it. Fuck. Fuck, I'm risking it. Come on. Okay! First try! First try! Am I gonna get punished for not killing those guys back there? Okay, looks like not. Good. I was really scared that they were gonna punish me for that. It's a time, man. Ah! Honestly, for dealing with these guys, uh, water style is probably the best. At least I got to skip the old boy part. Oh, but I brought these fuckers in here with me. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. God, you must feel so cool if you do old boy in one go, though. You're like, fuck yeah, I did it. And if you don't, you're like, I feel lame. <clears throat> it's a good thing I did it on the first try then, right?
I got comboed! I got fucking wombo combo, dude! Oh my god, I'm in so much trouble. like any of this shit. Log one. Okay. Origin era. Year four, three, four. Spring. F three, five. Oh my god, he's after me. Under both pressure and expectations of the council, I have de fully devoted myself to the immortality project. Uh, it's killing me. It's killing me. It's killing me. I'll read this another time. God damn it. <laughs> What the fuck, man? What is that? Those peens, dude. Get them out of there. All right, uh, uh, oh, log one. Oh, uh, for the first time. Origin era, 434. Spring, 35. 
Under both the pressure and expectations of the Council, I have fully devoted myself to the Immortality Project. If I failed to yield positive results once more, the Fang Clan might pull their funding. This has been a personal dream of mine, so I cannot fail in this last-ditch effort. I'll start by researching the cells of the Primordial Roots Fusong for any clues. Data corrupted. Seventy-three. Origin Era, Year 444, Summer 617. Mm. After ten years of unrelenting research, we have finally made a critical breakthrough in the synthesis between Solarian cells and the Roots regeneration cells. This is our first step towards immortality, and a victory for science. This research may be even become a turning point and encourage people to embrace science and technology. It may be our greatest accomplishment since Lear passed away. Oh. Origin Era, Year 446, Autumn 919. All test subjects had developed symptoms of rejection and are dying one after the other. The cause is a hertho unknown virus that was accidentally synthesized during the gene editing process. It has been no codenamed Chan Huo. Chan Huo. I still don't know how to say it. The virus is contagious, and we have neither isolated it nor found its transmission vectors. Once the infected pass away, flowers blossom from their corpses, allowing the virus to propagate itself. Data corrupted. I've been absorbing a lot of those flowers. I was hoping I could absorb that one too, but it doesn't look like it. I think I'm in a hurry, you know? I have friends in danger. Ah! Fire Hurts. An autobiography. By Cheesy Blue Nips. Uh oh. That's not good. I hate this. I hate this situation. I, I really hope more don't come out, but I feel like that's exactly what's gonna happen. Now! Bitch! God damn it! Those guys killed me at the beginning of the game and they're killing me at the end! What game is this? This is called Nine Souls and it is my game of 2024. It's really, really, really good. Yow! Fire Hurts, an autobiography by Zachary Blutnitz. Fire Hurts, an autobiography by Benjamin Fra Franklin? Pooping up a storm on me out here, brother. This guy's gotta stop sharting. Oh, you bitch. Slurping up.
Get the hell out of my face. Oh my lord. Situation is getting tough. Enhanced water flow. Okay, I do like water flow. Get one. When charging the un... Ooh. I like all of these, but I think I like water flow the most. I still may not use it, but I like it. It's the elevator from Evangelion. It's like that because it goes diagonally. Diagonally. What's your opinion on Metroidvanias? Fucking love them. Love Ori in the Blind Forest. Love Nine Souls. Love Ori, Will the Wisps. Love them. Nothing but love in my heart for the genre. Really would like to play Hollow Knight at some point. Why the treasure? I'm trying to save my family! Boom! I want my treasure though! Sorry, family. I need loot. I don't know why. I'm at the very end of the game, so it's not even like it's really even gonna matter at the end of the day, but I need it. I need it, dude. Love that. What does this say? Oh, what is that? Standard component? Okay. Dust Guardian emergency message. Attention, all Dust Guardians. Due to the recent invasion of a large mob of unknown creatures, we are now on extreme high alert. The mutant creatures are extremely aggressive and should be killed on sight. Squad members without arms should head to the armory and pick up some gear as soon as possible. Yanchi, leader of the 7th Dust Gar uh, Guardian Brigade. An emergency message. It's an emergency message. There's a bunch of goo over here. It's a bunch of goo. Watch out for the goo. Okay, how do I get to the pavilion from here? Okay, what's the fastest way? I think it's to the elevator. I get to the elevator, I go up. I'm I'm here, I go left. I make my way here. I don't know if I can go up. I think I'm stuck down here. Ah, oh, piss. Uh. Fuck. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I just came from here. Zach, you idiot. You need to go up and then you need to... Yeah, you need to go up the thing. Okay. Oh my god. That's a lot of dudes. That's one too many dudes for me, I think. And he thinks that's many dudes. Okay. Keep going.
Oh, I've had my eye on uh, Animal Well and uh, Leica uh, for a bit now, so I'm definitely interested in those. Really would like to try those out. I can't go through here. <gasps> Fuck. How do I get up? Do I gotta go uh, through here? Maybe I can go through that door to the left now. <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! I can't go through here, okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go through the meat packaging. Yeah, I can't go through there. Meat packaging. My god, and the rest? A lot of them I haven't heard of. Oh, Fairy Afterlight! I did a sponsored stream for Fairy Afterlight, and that one was really good. Hey, what's up, Germ? I don't know if I ever beat Fairy Afterlight, though. I think I got, like... Not really far in it. I don't know if I'm going a weird way or not. But I feel like I am. I can't go through here, though. Maybe I need to go right into the Yinglong Canal. And then go up. I believe I can make my way up through there. Ugh, man, it's a pain in the ass either way, but let's just try this way, maybe. Wait. Oh. Oh, I'm closer than I thought I would be. No, dude. Uh, wait, wait, wait. There was that one uh, area I could go around, right? Oh, that's locked off too, bro. How the fuck do I get to the pavilion? I need to get to the pavilion. Or wait, is this it? Is this a pavilion? This is a pavilion, right? Yeah, I was just confused. Shit, okay. John, John, are you okay? Is everything okay? Oh, everything does not look okay. One second, I gotta smoke. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Kofu, are you all right? I hear creepy, oh my God, they wrecked the place. What the hell? I don't like this shit. I don't like it one bit. Where's my team? Where are my boys? Oh, fuck. Please, please, please be okay. Please be okay. Ryui! Are you okay? You don't look right. Oh, fuck. Did they rock your shit, dude? Are you alright? My lord! Well, I'm back. Uh. What happened? Where's Sean Sean? Oh, thank goodness you all arrived. 
Oh my god. Yay! You're back! Those people came in and broke Abacus! Hi, Gong Brother Guards here and wrecked Havoc! Oh, I'm sorry. There was nothing I could do. This is all my fault, my lord. The alarms were disabled due to an exploit in the firewall. What's the extent of the damage? Most of our facilities are still functioning. However, Igong took the, the soul seal in your vital s sanctum. I tried all I could to stop her, but she succeeded in the end. I deserve the most severe punishment. I was also stripped of all my permissions. So now she alone holds the power of all ten soul seals. Why would she go through all this trouble? She must also be after the council code. And I can be pretty certain we won't like what she has in mind. I just didn't think she would also be the one behind the mutants. What do you mean? Does she want to destroy New Cutlan? Based on what we know, it's definitely within the realm of possibility. But why would she? I can perform a situational analysis and calculate probable causes. <laughs> Warning! Warning! An analytical, uh... An I know this word. Analytical system failed. Core processor damaged. Extent 97. You gotta pull through, Yui. So it's not just your language processing module. Your entire core is... Yes. Apologies. I will not be of much help anymore. I may be about to shut down permanently. Shut down? What's wrong with Abacus? Can he fix him, ye? Uncle Chubby, we're not allowed to let Abacus die, right? Core damage is irreparable. No one will be able to fix it. No. This is my fault. Absolutely not, Sean Sean. My shutdown isn't related to the actions of anyone. The winds of fortune blow every which way. Not, e not one escapes calamity. Not even if they happen to be the world's most powerful computer. You know, I feared that I would never see you again, my lord. However, that cherished wish has finally been fulfilled. You've always been so sentimental, Abacus. Thank you. Thanks for everything. I have stored your preferred tools and defaults in a backup database. They can be transferred seamlessly if you acquire a new assistant. Good luck, and may you ooh 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 ooh. <laughs> Processing limit exceeded. Permanent shutdown in three, two, one. Abacus, Abacus. No. No. Oh. My boy. That shit is not okay. Oh, they destroyed my map bot! Dude. Uh... <gasps> no! Even through all of it, he's still selling me shit. Chio.
We're gonna get your brother back, okay? Oh. This is the end, isn't it? I feel like we just went on a massive wild goose chase. This is not the time to mourn. <laughs> is that supposed to fill me with hope? Oi Gung just seized the ultimate control of the council. Commanding the guards to annihilate us will be a piece of cake for her now. And don't get me started on the mutants. It won't be long until the entirety of New Cutland is crawling with them. <laughs> Do you really think there will be any survivors? As long as there's even a single survivor. There's still hope. <sighs> I really can't share that sentiment, brother. What should we do next? To be honest, I more or less agree with what the other souls have been saying. Even if you overthrew the nine souls, would it do anything for the future of our, future of our people? Are you gonna stop the Eternal Cauldron Project? And that's not mentioning how New Cunlan is in complete chaos. Do you still remember our original promise? Oh? What promise? That we'd both return home in a blaze of glory. Hold on. Oh. You're planning on going back to Pengli? I checked the energy levels at the Radiant Pagoda. It should be doable. Indeed. We've been storing energy through the roots for centuries. We should theoretically be able to initiate a second space warp. But that's all strictly theoretical. New Cunlan's navigation systems do not have a built-in return procedure. Did you forget who wrote that system in the first place? You got me there. If anyone is, a, uh, if there is anyone who could get us back home, it'd be you. Trust me, it'll all be fine once we return home. How is that? How is it that you always find a way to win me over? Hmm. Ugh, better than croaking th this far from home. So, what's the plan? We still have some time before the code is revised. I need to get to the root pinnacle to stop Igong. However, there's something that I can only ask your help for. Let me guess. Sean, Sean. Yes. Help me take care of him. What a hassle. Can't you raise him yourself? Where's Shenong, by the way? Oh, fine. Just stop looking at me with those eyes of yours. Fine. I get it. I'll do it. Thank you. You're giving me goosebumps. You never used to be all kind and caring like this. Just don't lose, okay? You sure? Where are you going, Yi? Remember the people who just broke in? Well, I need to put a stop to their evil plans. <laughs> but there was this super strong old lady swinging a really long sword. Are you sure you'll be fine on your own? I'll be fine. I've been preparing for this day for quite some time. After I deal with this, everything will come to an end. I've always liked hearing stories about where the Solarians grew up, right? When I return, I'll take you there so you can see it with your own eyes. Really? You're not lying, right? When have I ever lied to you? I can already imagine your jaw dropping when you see the ocean on Panglai. An ocean? You can teach me how to swim so that way I can swim all the way to your hometown. Huh, you're gonna need a bunch more lungs for that. It takes months to even walk that kind of distance. <laughs> How do you know if you've never tried it yourself? You have to come back safe and sound, ye. <laughs> that old woman, she just waved her hand and then Abacus. It was so scary. I felt so useless. Everything's okay now. It's all in the past. Are you hurt? I'm fine, but I'm just sad that everything here is broken. If we're all safe and sound, it doesn't matter how many things they break. Oh. 
Oh, that was unexpected. Ah Gong was never the type to act on emotion. She would do everything right the first time. Well, she would spare your life while you were trapped in her soul. Why would she spare your life while you were trapped in her soulscape? I don't get it. Oh. Uh, there's probably no escaping it on confrontation now. Trouble's brewing on the horizon. Fortunately, I have an excellent craftsman on my side who will save the day. Uh. Uh, you and your sweet talk. Just let me know if you still want to adjust your gear. Do I have money? If I have money, I'll buy, like, a health pipe upgrade. Ooh, thank you. What, uh, what about Chiyo? So what was the deal with the Dust Guardians? The details are still fuzzy, but they may have been part of the Chanhua mutation experiments. The entire research institute and Dust Guardian HQ has been occupied by the mutants. Mm. Sacrificial bonds for Igong's experiments. What a pitiful end. Having a smoke. Smoke and a pancake. Bong and a blitz. <sighs> All right. I gotta see, um... I gotta see where this root thing that they want me to go towards is. Is it this? I think it's this. Yeah. Going up. Program. Unlock Primordial Roots Core. Loading. System encrypted. Operation failed. Oh, shoot. Sol Yi, you have the floor. Thank you. I think that my fellow souls will agree it's time to face the music. We can bicker all we want, but the truth is that the Chen Huao cannot be cured in the short term. Therefore, I would like to propose a bold new plan. Huh. Huh. Haikong might think you're clever, but since when did we let the, a rookie give orders around here? Let's not spoil the fun, Gumang. The kid's pretty charming. Let's see what he has to say. If anyone wants to raise any objections, please hold them till the end. The plan is called the Eternal Cauldron Project. Eternal? Interesting. Have you been keeping the elixir of life from me all this time? No, you misunderstand me. It's not a bodily immortality. It's a spiritual immortality. To put it simply, it's a plan to place all Solarians into virtual reality while their bodies are put into cryosleep. Till we find a cure. Uh. <laughs> Our scientists in G have already experimented on this. They were not very successful. This time is different. This time, we have Lady Ethereal's vital sanctum and a soulscape system. Their tests have proven that we can all fix all the shortcomings of older hibernation devices. Combine that with the creation of virtual worlds. And all Solarians will be able to enjoy centuries of blissful dreams. Lady Ethereal, does it really work? Uh, y yes. Upon waking up, all test subjects were very satisfied with the dreams they experienced. There were a few who had trouble, B but those are minor issues. I'll patch those out. The only issue is generating soulscapes for tens of thousands of people requires an unprecedented amount of computing power. We wouldn't be able to meet capacity even if we linked up every single abacus on Penglai. I believe the esteemed Gumong has an answer to that. Why are you asking me for an answer? 
If this is how ha how half-assed your plan is, count me out, rookie. In your research on Jiangxi's soldiers, did you pose it the possibility of biological calculators? Uh. Hmm. So that's what you're talking about? Connecting biological brains in series can indeed form an immense biological computer. However, that theoretical model requires the brains of organisms with higher intelligence. From where do we source those? Don't tell me you're going to use Salarian brains. Of course not. You can't use anything polluted by the Chanhua. I mean, that would be unethical. So we're gonna use the Ape Men, and that was Yi's idea. You all remember the Haotian Sphere, right? The Deep Space Telescope has been running for centuries. It's collected massive amounts of information. Uh. Did it actually find a planet with intelligent creatures? Exactly. We have temporarily named it the Pale Blue Planet based on its appearance. Reports show that primitive humanoid creatures with large and active brains reside on the Pale Blue Planet. Show me the report. I want to see it. You can't just make up such a huge discovery, young man. I have read the report, so we need not doubt its veracity. They're still living beings. Wouldn't that be too cruel? Hmm, uh. <laughs> that pity is totally unwarranted. If left a war alone, primitive species tend to wipe themselves out anyway. Better for us to cultivate them for our purposes. <laughs> Are we opening a whole new hunting ground? The G-Clan is itching to get our muscles moving. You're all thinking too far ahead. The pale blue planet is 5,500 light years away from us. What? So this meeting was a complete waste of time? The Fang Clan didn't spend our money to listen to your fantasies. 500 light years! We don't even know if we'll make it to the next decade! Even if we did manage to gather enough food, how are we going to gather a vessel and enough energy to get there? We already have a vessel. What's more? We're sitting in it right now. In the final phase of the Eternal Cauldron Project, Kunlun Island will be launched into the heavens. The entire island, with everyone on it, will warp to the pale blue planet. You're... you're insane! No, he's totally serious! Well, I've done the calculations! There's enough energy stored in the primordial roots to make that trip. It will only take a few years to build the necessary rhismatic energy columns and engines. As long as we have the primordial roots when we reach our destination, energy replenishment shouldn't be a problem. But... But what? Speak up, fatty! Jesus. Easy. What Kafu wants to say is, once we make this trip, we will not be able to return for at least another 500 years. Ye, calm down. Why don't you hear me out? It was you! You're the perpetrator! Where are the others? The other souls have their own matters to attend to, and have asked me to speak on their behalf. I see. From the very beginning, I was the only one kept in the dark. Even Kaufu and Lady Ethereal knew. They reached the same conclusion as I had. We must accept our current predicament. Why? Conclusion, my ass! It's you! You and this accursed Chin Dao Council! You murdered everyone! Murdered my parents! Because of you, now Hang will die too! Data corrupted. Oh, fuck. What, dude? Yeah, cause she proliferated the Chang Hao virus. She made the Chang Hao virus to try and make us live forever. <sighs> Root core decryption report. Fusong is breaking free from its seal. We're about to lose all control of the, the Primordial Roots network. After arriving near the pale blue planet, the Primordial Roots were coaxed to build a massive web around New Kunlun to partially cover the nearby star, allowing the Roots to absorb its light and provide never-ending power for the Eternal Cauldron Project. Uh, root decryption process, 20%. 
Okay, I'm glad I sat here first. Alright, I guess I should choose my jades wisely and, uh... Well, I don't know if I'm gonna need any gin collection jades anymore. So let's find something that we like a bit more. Uh, multi-target seems potentially useful. Precise parry inflict internal damage to the enemy. I do like that. I also like the idea of... Having... Yes, immovable. I like that. Uh, I like it. Iron skin. I have three more. Do I get the revival jade and just go... Just go, uh... Sekiro mode with it? Uh, to recap the story... Somebody else might be better suited for that. But, I will say, this playthrough will be on YouTube. You're up early. I thought you would sleep much longer. I realize that this isn't really the time for a nap. Mm. Shame. Why return to this pitiful place when you can welcome a whole new world in your dreams? A whole new world? I don't care what it is you're trying to do, but you better stop right now. What, Zol? Why? You are about to witness the liberation of Fu Song. This is our destiny. We will soon devour the fruit that fate has provided for us. We have waited too long, too long for this moment. You've gone insane. Huh. Insane? I found the truth and unlocked immortality. How can you not fathom the significance of this achievement? You're right. I can't. I don't understand why you would make the same mistake over and over again. Transforming Salarians into those moot mutants can't be the answer. <laughs> Prophets have always beat a lonely path. Never mind. You'll thank me in time. You and everyone else. Since the dawn of our race, Salarians were but stupid beasts before the whims of fate, endlessly pursuing our own tales. Fuck. You should celebrate, because we're about to break out of this cycle and enter the realm of the immortal. And you think this is what and you think this is what will free us. I'm not going to let you have your way! How extremely cruel of you. I hoped that by trapping you in your dreams, I could avoid this confrontation. Not to mention, no mentor can bear to end any of their students' lives. Don't make me do it twice! Fuck the music! The music, dude! Fuck you, Igon! We're about to throw down, bitch! Oh! Whoa! That's new! Oh my god! Okay. She got the- she got the anime shit. She got the same anime shit I got? She also has the talismans, which I was not excited about. I saw those talismans, dude. I was not into that. Shoot, man. 
She's gonna do a lot of me stuff, isn't she? That's the coolest lightsaber I've ever seen. Whoa, buddy! Let's slow down there! I'm trying to find some openings, brother, and I'm dying immediately, so it's not going so hot. Only have four arrows. Oh, man. Dude, I forget that I basically have to jump that one, otherwise I die. You know what I need to do? I need to... And I need to just watch her. I am seeing dodging through her may not be the tech for a couple of these. I think getting distance on her is going to be the, what makes more sense. Uh oh. Dude, that's so fast. I'm doing this with the Sekiro as well, which is the craziest part, dude. She's kicking my ass. It's making me think this is a water flow situation. Kinda have a lightsaber. My lightsaber's green. The timing on her attacks are so weird. Oh, I can parry those. I'm dead. When's the time I can heal, bro? We're gonna beat this game, Darls. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Fuck.
absolutely obliterated. How many tries is this? What attempt is this? Attempt counter? Hmm? This is totally phase one, too, you know? This is attempt zero? Ah, oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good to know. You think we can count? Well, I can't count. If I can't count and you can't count, then we're, then we're fucked. <laughs> then we're kind of fucked. No, 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 no. Fuck, I'm so dead. Imagine this was, uh, imagine this game had PvP in it. That'd be crazy. That's what it's giving whenever she does that shit to me. He's doing it! Uh! No, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Fuck yourself. Fuck! Was that less than 50? All right, we're going, we're doing it, dude. We're in, I'm in.
fuck. The range on that one is deceptive as well. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, man. Okay, I am getting better. She's got me sweating already, though. You know, I can feel it on my hands. I can feel the, the moisture on my hands start. It's, it's beginning. Oh, man. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Call me an outcast fan, because it's all right. Fuck. Dude. 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 Oh, come on. I went for the heal. Would you do Botox injections in your hand to stop competitive sweating? I didn't know that that was a thing that people did, actually. How long is this game? Pretty dang long. I would say it's like a 30 hour game. Oh, what? I thought I'd parried that. Cursed run. This is a cursed run. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Cursed run. Would you replace your normal hands with giant cartoon ones? Only if I had the Mickey Mouse gloves. Dude, she bonked me on the head. 
Play that one, like, bonks sound effect whenever that happened. My god, dude. Cheesy could beat this anytime. This is just a uh, classic case of Twitch acting. Shh, you're ruining the magic of it. I'm going for my Oscar. Whoa, guys, this is tough. Okay. Uh, let's do it again. Ah, damn it. Fuck. Fuck. I even lost my Sekiro run. Damn. Okay. All right. All right. I need to consistently get out of 50. All right. I need to get 50% of her, of her chunked consistently. Otherwise, I'm dog water, you know? Dog water. Dog water. This is a sick set piece. Gotta be one of the most video game set pieces I've ever seen, for sure. Boom. Dude! Oh! I forgot. I forgot I'm Sekiro pilled right now. A smoke and a pancake. They really did build her so that way. Thank you, Crimson, for the 100 bits. I don't know if the slapping was necessary, but. Ow. The slapping is definitely unnecessary right now. You. 
I gong part two. What the hell is that? So, gotta start practicing this now, I guess. All right. <laughs> I bet there's gonna be a third phase. I really do. I really anticipate a third phase. Oh man. Either that or the second phase gets so much worse. I gotta practice my counter. I don't know how I get away with both of those. Dude, uh... Oh, fuck. Darls, thank you so much for the gifted sub, Dina. Oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. Dude, I don't know the parry timing on that. I'm gonna make this fish die! Uh, Monday. <laughs> we can't go over. Go back to work. <laughs>
I didn't even realize that I had burned through my, uh, Sekiro already. My second life. Shoot. Thanks, Loot, for the one, uh, one, two, five bits. And for the 100 bits earlier. Ah, uh, Monday. Yeah, I was like, I'm super getting hit by that. Yeah, I was like, that's bad. I burned through all my heals, but... Mm. Nope! I don't want it! I don't want it! I don't want it! I'd really rather not! Most of it has been the same, other than the pain that is that attack. No, I did not. I did not mix you guys up. No, I did not. No. No, I did not do that. I'm just saying words with my mouth, dude. You can't. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm, that's the first time I've gotten hit by that in a while, though. Oh. I'm still waiting for you to start the fight so I can see a first time clear. Oh, oh, this is the one, then. This is the one. This is the one. Okay, I just need to practice my special parry. And everything will be all right. If I do my special parry, everything will be all right. Dude. The unfortunate thing is, I don't even know if I could practice the special parry on those big attacks because they're like so huge. I might be able to.
I'm dead. It wasn't a first time clear. I'm sorry uh, to disappoint you, Deniable Storm. I got absolutely squashed. I got stomped. I got stomped on. I got eviscerated. Destroyed. Mutilated. Oh. Still waiting for you to start the fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. I've just been doing this for the past hour. Just getting ready for the fight to start, you know? Okay, but this is the one. Unless it isn't. Fuck, dude. This is going so bad. Terribly bad. Cursed run. Cursed run. Cursed run. Now it's time to start. All right, I think I'm ready for the boss. I visualized it in my mind. It's already gone well, you know? Like, this is already the one. I already know it.
Fuck! I knew I messed up too. I saw her suck that ball into her hand. I'm like, oh Dude, that's terrible. I hate you. Alright, what am I doing? I'm just taking the hits, brother. Oh, that's Seki Road already. that you could do it that in the, into that mix up I'm dead if you hesitate for even a second on that one you're done dude when that ball is coming into your mouth man Better not hesitate for even a second. All right, all right. I'm going shrimp mode. I'm shrimping up. I hesitated. Okay. I'm dead. new she air comboed me that wasn't cool no 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 I don't like that shit I don't fuck with that
No. No! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I just grew a snout there. I turned you into an elephant, man. Oh man. <sighs> okay, I got one of those off though, so that was cool. Come on. Come on, I got I got Sekiro'd at the last minute, man. Okay, let's try this. Fuck. F I'm dog water, dude. Ah, 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 Greg. I'm exploding in my mouth, brother. Hey, dude. Thanks so much for the raid. What's up, everybody? What's up? Greg is the best. He told us to say that. It's true. It's facts. It's facts. That's real. That's a real that's a real statement. Oh yeah, this is the final boss in the game. So um if you want to play nine souls, I won't I won't fault you for looking away now. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay, okay. Getting a little funky with it. Oh, you're getting hit. Oh, no, you're out of my range. Hey. Ah, damn it, my life. Oh. 
I'm not a very into side scrollers. If not for that, you'd freaking love it because man, it really is just uh it is just side scroller Sekiro. You believe in my general direction? I receive that. Thank you. Dude. What am I doing? I'm so sorry, I let the whole squad down. This is a cursed run. Bad run. Bad run. Ah, I even missed my bow and arrow shot. Bad run. Cursed run. Ripperoni. <laughs> Shoot. Throw me back in there. Hope the stream was great though, dude. Fuck you. All right, come here, come here. Let's go. Okay, this is the part that makes me want to die. Dude. No, 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 no! What do you mean you're gonna throw it at me again? Oh my god, dude. The counter, dude. Needing to throw two immediate counters after the unbounded- It's a this, 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 and then a this again. That is so fun. It's like a- it's like a this, 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 and then a pause, and then this. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. I see it. I see it in my eye. I see it in my mind's eye, dude. It's happening. Here we go.
Nope. Nope. Okay, that's pretty good. Fuck you. Fuck you, dude! What is that? Every single time. Oh my god, I got Sekiro'd. Nope! I would really you rather didn't. No, I would really rather didn't. Okay, you can do it this time. What? The mix-up? What is that? Oh, it's too hot! It's too hot! Fuck you. Okay. Okay. Let's do the next. I got I got all four of uh, of one of the hard parries, so definitely getting better. Definitely a noticeable improvement on that one. The air combo that I was that's fucked. And the fact that she can cancel that last one to go for the triple slash instead is also a bit crazy. Dude. I'm dead. Cursed run, cursed run. Streams exploding. Comcast L. That one was Comcast fault, all right? There was input delay because my controller couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi, so. Comcast fault. Fuck you, Comcast. That's lame.
Just gonna give it a second. No, no. Let it do its thing. It looks good now. Damn you, Comcast. Alright, this next one, this next one is the Greg run. If I do this one, Greg has to, uh, give me a, a big kiss on my, on my big forehead. I'm getting that kiss, dude. I gotta get that kiss, brother! I gotta get that kiss! Woo! All right. That was big. My kiss! My kiss! No, I've been drinking water. Shit, man! All right, this is the Elden Ring. Um, I don't. I gotta be very careful with what I promise here. When I play through Elden Ring, if I win this next one, when I play through Elden Ring, I will go through it. Gut, st gut sword only. As Greg would have wanted.
Okay. All right, all right, all right. Do I just gotta dodge these from now on? I think I just gotta dodge those. I think that's just no longer an opening. Fuck, I'm dead. Okay, Sekiro. Fuck you. Take my heels where I can get them. Fuck. Okay. Just not as many. Rest in peace, Guts Run. Okay. What can I promise? What can I promise? For... <laughs> If it, if this is the run, my Elden Ring run, is it still an Elden Ring run thing? Uh, I don't know. Promise that you'll invite a billionaire to Chili's. Baby Park? Oh, you want me dead. You want me dead. You just want me dead. That's where you want me. You want me seven feet under the ground. 
I can't do baby park. All right, you know what? After this run, every death, and I'm not going to do it until I win. Every death is one baby park run, okay? And we'll end the stream with that. We'll end the stream with baby park. I'm not going to log on to my Switch, though, just for it. Like, after after each fight. Oh, shoot. I, don't, I really don't want to play on Baby Park, so I'd really like to win this one. Even the idea of Baby Park is enough to throw me off. That's gonna hit. Yep. Okay, okay. okay. Two heals. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Yeah. Fuck, I'm so dead. I'm playing on Baby Park! Dude! Dude! Uh, man! Come on! Uh, alright, alright. That's one Baby Park! It's one! You got one. Let's see if you get more.
Fuck. That's so tough. What can you do? Ah, my Sekiro! The mere mention of Baby Park has tilted me, dude. Must really like it. Fuck you, girly. When you start getting used to the second stage, yeah, right? Yeah, I can really stay still during the first stage. I, I did notice that. I was like, oh, wow. You know, there's not a lot of necessary movement in that first stage. Now that I'm in the second stage, I'm kind of used to it. If there's a third stage, I'm done. I kind of almost expect there to be one because it's the final boss. But we shall see. And I expect it to be totally different, to be honest with you. Fuck. Sometimes I just let myself get got. Hey, did yours, did mine, did yours cancel mine out? Cause that wasn't cool. Hated that. Can't get too complacent.
Oh, why do I just let myself get grabbed? I don't think my heart was in that last one. I think I've I think I've been more locked in. I got on autopilot there. That's three. thinking about all the baby park I'm gonna have to play, you know? See, I just, I get, I get stun locked. I'm just waiting for the parry, and I forget about the dealing with that. I got Sekiro'd? No! That's embarrassing. Alright, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do the second phase, and perfect, because I'm not playing Baby Park four times! I might be playing Baby Park four times! That was painful. Uh. Perfect this shit. I'll never know what to do for that one. I think it's just a, another quick parry, you know? Fuck, I'm so fucked. Alright, we got a perfect. I'm dead. <laughs>
Oh! Okay. Just take a big inhale, exhale, chapstick. We got it. What is this, four? This is four, right? Boom, boom, pow. Fuck. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I think I went in. Okay, okay, nice. Notice that's an opening. Okay, well, at least I grabbed the stuff before in. Okay. Gamer. Terrible, terrible, terrible. No. I thought I was done. Okay. We just fill up. you. I don't want that. Give me a moment to breathe. I said give me a moment to fucking breathe. No. Okay, refocus. Fuck you.
Okay, Sekiro. Come on, man. Oh. 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 My hands are so sweaty. It's been two hours. Okay. Okay, it's still not the worst my boss. This is not the worst the boss has ever been for me. It's not the worst. Oh, I started to freak out there in that second half. I gotta be honest. There were multiple times where it was like, I'm not playing ideally, but I'm really just trying to buy myself some time to get a breath in. Okay, one heal.
No. Fuck off. Shit. It gets me every time. We're in it. Fuck. I should have saved it. Oh my god. That hit, that hit, that hit hard. That hurt, that shit hurted.
back? Oh, we're back. We're back. We are back. We are back. All right. Let's do this again, man. We back. We back. I feel good. Na, 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 na. Maybe, maybe Comcast. Maybe I needed a break. You know? Maybe that was what. I forgot the buttons. I forgot the buttons. I forgot how to play this game. Fuck you, Comcast. I had a genuine like, like my brain just farted, like, like just faltered entirely. I'm like, how do I breathe? What are the buttons? What am I doing? I was suddenly in it and I was scared. And everything was high tension again. Oh no, that's bad. That sucked. Hate getting hit by that. Worst feeling in the world. That's lame, dude. That's fucking lame. That's so lame, dude. <laughs> oh, man. All right. It hit me right in my soul on that one, gotta be honest. Talisman to me right in my core. Baby. Baby Park. Baby Park 5? Baby Park 5. I think it's Baby Park 5, right? Or is it Baby Park 6? I don't know. Who's keeping track? Somebody has to. I don't want to. <laughs> Nice, nice. Ah, uh, not nice. See, sometimes I'm like, I should heal right now. But I'm like, I can get some health back. A legend.
Red Robots, make sure you let us know what Pokemon card you want. Or what Pokemon, rather. Fuck. Okay. Dude, I hate that move! No. I don't know why I even got close. I'm so fucked, bro. That shit has me wondering if I should be on full control, because I bet I could get a fiver in there, or at least a higher amount. Alright, come after me. Okay. We're chilling. taking any of that shit right now. Nope. Not taking that shit right now. Please call again. Which is what I would say if I meant it. I don't fucking mean it. Never call again. Oh, 
I had given up on taking certain openings at that point, man. I was just like, I'm gonna win this one. Fuck. That... The talisman. Such a sneaky fucking thing every time. Okay. It comes so out so much quicker in the second phase. Oh man, the range is BS, man. Ha! Ah, I don't feel that way genuinely, but fuck. My Sekiro, dude. I was gonna use that. to block a lot of these. I gotta be okay blocking a lot of these. Please. Okay. Let's go. We gotta be a tenacious motherfucker, you know? Determination, tenacity, endurance, attrition. Buzzwords. I don't know, dude. I do that, I do that. Thank goodness they didn't do the full air combo there. I was not ready for it. Ready that time.
Do it again. Let's go. I fucked. I fucking- I messed that one up by- By using the arrows on the talismans. Oh, man. And a pinch of salt. A lot of salt. I gotta be honest, Leo was fucking farting the whole time I was in that fight. Buddy, you smell rank. Dude. Dude. Dude, come here. Come up here. You're right. <laughs> it's like just coming up into my face and I'm like, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> my eyes are starting to water and shit. I was terrible, terrible stuff. Hated that. He was gassing me up. He was gassing me, that's for sure. All right, I'm going to beat it this time, buddy. Beat it this run. This is it. What happens when you give a dog a cheese single? You give him a cheese single as a snack earlier. He's farting up a storm. Oh, dude. Leo. Leo, bed. Leo, bed. Bed. Good boy. Be there in a second, buddy. Probably need to go uh, take him out or something. That's fine. I need to take my dog out. I'll be right back. First one, when I get back, that's a W. You wanna go outside? Let's go.
for your bed. Good boy. Good boy. All right. <sighs> this is it. This is the one. <sighs> this is it. Your lightsaber is so cool. And it makes me so mad. At this point, I'm just mad at it. Waited. And, and probably should have. Okay, close. <sighs> okay. We're looking good. Come on. Try me. It's hot. Fuck.
Okay, okay. I'm all calm and collected now. Fuck that. Okay, okay. Oh no! I was really expecting the three. Fuck. Okay, that would have been the three. And maybe I shouldn't have hit there, but... Yeah. Fuck you. Let's go, man. We did that shit. What did I say? First one when I came back. As your mentor, I have to admit, you've improved a lot. There was no hesitation between your movements. Your determination was in full show. Ye, you were supposed to be my greatest achievement. I am. That's why I've been fighting to stop you. I hope you're right. The real enemy never disappeared. I leave it to you. The fate of all Solarians. Oh no, is there another one? Oh god, dude. I'm scared. I'm scared there's more. Am I gonna need to fight the tree? I don't want to fight the tree, dude. I don't want to fight the tree. Don't make me fight the tree, please. <sighs> My heart, dude. I was, I was calm and collected all the way up until the very end. At the very end, I saw it and I saw that it might happen and I was freaking out. Like, like definitely my heart rate went up. Jeez Louise, brother. Jeez Louise, man. Opening star map. Course plotting complete. Calibration nav navigation system. Destination Pengli. Open a wormhole and perform a space jump. I assume that means yes. Wow, dude, Pengli is beautiful. Sean Sean here. We're gonna teach that boy to fish. We're gonna teach that boy to swim.
That's a lot of brain. I assume maybe those are the Solarians? Or are those the humans? Look, Shanchan, he's back. I told you so. He came back real quick. Is Shanchan old now? I've been waiting ages for you. Let's play some King Kun. Oh my god. Yeah. I've organized the recent energy reports together with Sean Sean. Hanglai's soulscape, soulscape system is functioning smoothly. There shouldn't be any short-term computing shortages. In addition, with regard to repairs being performed on the vital sanctums, we've detected zero anomalies in the core functions. Other than that... Well, I guess that's not... Sean, Sean, Sean. Wow, finish nine, nine souls on standard mode. Is that it? Credits roll? Not true ending? Huh. Looks like you just gave me a reason to replay this game. Wow, dude. That is absolutely my game of 2024 so far. Um, what a worth it experience for your money. I think, I wanna say, ooh. Kenny, thank you for the five gifted. We finished the game again. Slapping.
them. All the souls. All of the souls had so much personality. Man, it is so hard to choose a favorite boss. I think it's between... Uh, G... Igong... Or... I forgot her name, but she's the butterfly. Um... Why did I forget her name? Lady Ethereal, yeah! Gotta be, be between those three. G was cool. Igong was really cool. Oh, man. Is it just back to main menu, or do we get a post-credits? Oh! Okay, we get the post-credits credits. Um, I guess I could talk about the game now. I'm super interested to see, um, like a speedrun. I think that, at the very least, it's gotta be, like, eight hours or so. Uh... I wonder how many Sean Sean things I miss, Sean Sean interactions, because that really did make up the heart of the game. Uh, just being able to, to come back um, and talk to Sean Sean and everything, and uh, all the poisons with Shenong and stuff. Uh, very fun game for voice acting, which is cool, uh, because that's something I like to do. It's not something that I really pursue aggressively, but I really do enjoy voice acting. Um, and I... If anybody came to me with a project ever, I would absolutely say yes in a heartbeat. Uh, all the same, man. You know, just playing it with you guys and voicing through the characters, uh, kind of getting to know their personalities and... Um, I don't know, just building, help building it out is really, really fun. Uh, it's always, I, I like, you know, some people really want the voice acting in-game and stuff. I like the voice acting in-game, but I also really like to play along, you know? Like, I, I, I enjoy the, the hanging out. Uh, the gameplay was so tight, and at no point did I really think, like, that it was super crazy unfair. You could get absolutely rolled and just comboed, um, but there I beat the game, so there was never a point where I was just like, this is fully bullshit. Um, that boss, the two bosses, the two twins, that was the closest it got for me. Uh, and I do think that was maybe my weakest section of the game. Every other part of the game up to that point was insanely strong, which is crazy to maintain that amount of strength over the course of like a 35 hour experience. Um, holy crap. Honestly, I, I mean, thinking about the last game we beat like this, uh, I'm thinking live, live alive. I'm thinking eastward. It's been a little bit, you know, like we've done the one off, you know, the Bioshock sort of thing. I still need to play Bioshock too, but Playing through an entire game like this was really, really fun. Okay, so the rule for this is always and forever, if I beat my best time, then I get to leave. I don't have to do all of the baby parks. I am going to play Baby Luigi because it's Baby Park. Of course you play Baby Luigi on Baby Park. What am I going to do? Not play Baby Luigi on Baby Park? I'm going to race against my ghost. 107. God damn it, dude. I'm gonna hear this song in my dreams tonight. I started dreaming again. I started dreaming, and now I'm gonna have nightmares. Actually, the past two dreams that I've had were both kind of vaguely nightmarish. I had a dream that I was back in high school again. And, uh... And I was really sad that... 
the um, that the seniors were gonna graduate, and I started crying at the end of the dream. I was like, I'm gonna miss the seniors. I didn't have one senior like that in my whole time during school. But I think you know what it was. The dream, the dream in the dream. It was like me and Scotch were like pals buddies. Scott is older than I am, so, you know, if, even if we had gone to school together, you know, Scott would have graduated, would have gotten out before I did. But, in my dream, we were in the same grade, and, like, the seniors were, like, were, like, chilled, Tay, you know, Speedy, Tilly, those peeps, you know? And I was so sad. I was so sad, dude. I was like, they're gonna go. The seniors. I'm not gonna ever see them again. <laughs> it's goofy as hell. I don't know why that was my brain. Again, Scott is older than I am. In the dream, we were like, we were like, we were like pals, like besties, and we were we were like so sad together, you know. Like I was like, no, dude, and he was like, no, dude, you cry, you're gonna make me cry. Once you graduate, people just disappear forever. That's what it felt like in in the dream, for sure. Like the very first time that, uh, you know, I think in general it's just like a it's just like a sad life. Oh no, they're gone. I don't talk to anybody else uh, from high school anymore. Mm, kind of not one. I mean, occasionally I've been reached out to, but like I've even reached out to some of my old high school friends and got nothing back, you know? One of my old high school friends got nothing back. I have seen, um, usually during the game awards, I have a, I have a college friend who hops in to chat and like nobody knows, but I know, you know? I'm like, hey, dude, what's up? Fuck. My coin line is terrible. I haven't played Mario Kart in a minute, dude. I'm washed. Okay. Ah, oh, that was bad. My lines were already bad. How many is this? This is la round uh, lap like uh, three? Three out of eight? I got five more after this? I'm gonna be here forever, dude. God is a dead. <laughs> This is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. See, I can't even be in like I'm I, like I'm I'm I don't like this. I hate this experience. But I'm not bitter right now because I just beat like a game I really really fucking liked. I don't know, man. Would I put it top ten? I might. I don't know. That's tough, dude. I've played so many games at this point. Okay, so games, I'm gonna list some games that have to be in my top 10. Oh, fuck, I fucked up my line. Whatever, let's just do it. All right, I'm gonna talk about this while I'm just running through this passively because my line was terrible. Um, okay, games that have to be in my top 10. 100% must be in my top 10. RimWorld, Streets of Rogue, that's two. Um, have to be in my top 10. Persona 4 Golden has to be somewhere in my top 10. 
That's three. I, I, I'm I not listing these in the order. They're just kind of the, re the way that they're coming off my dome, you know? Have to be in my top ten. Ooh, I mean, some Pokemon's got to get in there, but which Pokemon? I don't know. Because I really want to put Explorers of Sky and, like, Platinum in there. Okay, have to be in my top ten. So far, we have three. I'm going to also throw Mountain Blade Warband in there. That's four. Um... Have to be, have to be in my top ten. One hundred percent needs to be in my top ten. Uh, Mario Kart Eight Deluxe, I think, does have to be in my top ten. That's five. I'm playing the game right now. No, I, I love this fucking game. It is my favorite Mario Kart. It is one of my faves, for sure. Um, I want to put a Legend of Zelda in there as well. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and put Pokemon Explorers of Sky in there. Let's just lock that in. That's six. That's six top ten games. Kingdom Hearts two has probably got to be in my top ten. That's seven. I have three more spots. Three more spots. And I'm seriously thinking about giving one of them to another Pokemon. I'm thinking about giving it to Platinum. Either Platinum or Emerald. Um, no, not Minecraft. Minecraft is not one of my favorite games. Um, Pong? <laughs> Why is a Wii Sports Resort popping into my head? I am also thinking about The Sims 3. You know, I do think that I maybe should lock in The Sims 3. Okay, that's eight. I have, uh, I have two more spots. Uh, Lisa the Painful. That is nine. And I do think my final spot, again, these are not in order, but I think it, it would either have to go to Pokemon Platinum, Katana Zero, or Nine Souls. I think, I think it's up there. I'm trying to think of another game that, that like maybe I missed or something. Another game that I'm all about. But I think that I think that that's probably the what makes the most sense, you know? Bad line, bad line. Uh, that's an L. Oh, a good line. Really good line there. Really good line there. Yeah, I don't have 10 coins, so. Mmm. 
I don't know, I mean... Thinking like underrated games, I'm definitely thinking about Tanuki Sunset a little bit. I really like Tanuki Sunset. And you know what, Live Alive I really did like a lot too. Like I don't know if it'd be in my top 10. But it might be, Live Alive might be in my top 20. I really like Live Alive. Oh fuck, don't say Stellaris. I might need to kick something out of the top 10. Fuck, you stay Stellaris, and I'm like, I don't know. Ah, uh, jeez, what would I kick out? I mean, honestly, it would probably be that la whatever that last one is between Nine Souls and uh, the others. Why am I so far ahead? Wait, what? Wait a second. No, I am not going to get my PB on the last lap. This is stupid. What's happening? Okay. I don't know where I got all that speed from. If I just didn't grab the coin. I think I just didn't grab coins. And so I just had speed. Okay. I was like, what the fuck? If... If I was about to get my PB, I was about to slow down on purpose at the end of the finish line. I was be like, no, 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 no. I'm not making this harder for me in the future. I know this will come up again. I know that Baby Park is a, is, it's a punishment here, you know? That's the last of it. 